Hi, it's Chris from Evolve Models. Today we're going to build the Meng 135 VS KFZ Minesweeper. This is a great starter kit and a great kit for beginners and hopefully a great kit to start this channel. So join me and let's get started. When we've got parts like this, I find it easier to hold them down and then run the glue down the back of the piece. The first part of the build is going to see us build the driver's cab and seven small hooks that go on the outside of the hull. Again, I'm going to hold the pieces together and then just run the glue down the back. Be careful with parts like these, these are extremely small and easily lost in the carpet. Wherever you can, try and glue parts from the rear side. There are a number of small hatch hinges which now need to be fitted. Again, these are really small pieces. I'm using a sticky stick to try and attach them to the hull. While sanding the hinges, one of them inadvertently flew into the grey carpet, never to be seen again, so I got some styrene and took the time to make a replacement. It's now time to install the seven small hooks we made at the beginning of the video. These sit on the exterior of the top hull. I've got them in a little dish like this as not to lose them. It is now time to install the front armour plating where the driver sits. This part was quite delicate, with some louvers fitting inside a fan assembly. Take some time here lining up the louvers, they don't fit particularly well and may need a little jiggling. The instructions would have you gluing the two hatch doors together, then installing into the model. I'd advise against this, actually install them separately and then glue them once they're on the model. They'll fit far easier. It's now time to fit the second louver housing, 
I built it exactly the same as the first one, but you can also see my makeshift hinge. I've got to come clean. The hinge that I made didn't fit first time, so it needed some adjustment. But after that, the louver housing fits straight into place. The final assembly for the top hull is this rear hatch. I'm just going to install it like the others. Right, it's now time to deal with the lower hull. There are a number of parts to fit on either side of the hull, also two holes that need to be drilled at the rear for the steering mechanism chain. I had a good gander at the instructions but couldn't find out what size drill was needed to drill the holes on the front so I took the chain and I had a guesstimate at around about 1.5mm. Just take it gently while drilling, the plastic may be quite soft but it is quite thick, you'll get there eventually. Now do the same on the other side. We've now got some more items to install on the lower hull. This part of the hull I had to build off camera. The parts were just far too small for me to get a camera in and my head at the same time. Right, I'm going to deviate from the instructions slightly here. The instructions tell us to build the wheel assemblies next, but they're quite special and I'm going to do them in the next part. I'm going to move on and I'm going to start building the turret.
Once this turret is completed, we will have a top hull, bottom hull and turret. In the next video, I'm going to build the wheel assemblies and we'll get into priming and some painting.